This is Tony of the Red Power Team. Today we're going to cover on a flagship series combine how to create guidance lines when you're combining beans at an angle out in the field. Or if you want to do a straight AB as well, we'll cover that also. So the first thing we want to do when we start up our combine is you need to turn your steering wheel to the left and to the right so that the combine can see your steering wheel angle sensors. The other thing that we want to do is we need to enable the guidance on our combine. On a common cab combine, up in the headliner panel on the upper right hand side, you're going to see an auto engage button. You're going to press and hold that button until you hear that beep. Once you hear that beep, that enabled the guidance system on the combine. The next thing that you're going to want to do is on your monitor, you're going to want to find your guidance screen. It's probably run screen three. We see auto guidance, hit your start button, and accept to accept the liability agreement for creating a guidance line. If you're on a legacy flagship series combine, the auto guidance engage button, the activation is not up in the headliner, headliner panel. It is actually down on the right hand console. It's an orange button in the back right side. You're going to press and hold the top side of that button for a few seconds till you hear the beep in that combine as well. So now that we have our guidance engaged, enabled, we see on our run screen it says it's ready to engage. We're going to do combining beans at an angle. So we're going to change our recording swath type from straight to a heading because I want to go at an angle across the field. I'm sitting on the south end of my field right now. I'm facing north right now. I'm going to mark my A position and I want to do a custom degree angle. We can see that if I was to go straight north, it would be zero degrees. East is 90, south is 180, west is 270. We can do a custom and go anywhere in between there. So I'm going to do a custom and I want to go at 5 degrees across the field. So I would punch in 5, hit enter. Do you want to change to the swath? I would say yes. And at this point, I can now either engage off my monitor or if my separator and feeder are running, I can engage off the propulsion lever on the combine. On a common cab combine, you have a guidance engage button uh, right on the propulsion lever. On a legacy combine, you're going to double click that front shift button with your finger to engage the guidance once your separator and feeder are running. I'm going to turn on my separator and feeder. At this point, I'm going to start driving forward, combine across the field, and I'm going to press my auto guidance engage button. And now we can see off our screen that the auto turned black and it engaged, and we're going to be running five degrees across the field on guidance at this point. To disengage, just grab your wheel and turn it, and that's going to disengage your guidance. Once you've turned around on the end, you can press your auto engage button again and it's going to re-engage your guidance for you. That's how we would create a heading at 5 degrees going across the field. You can punch in any other custom degree angle if you want to as well. So what if I want to just do a straight AB across the field? That one's pretty easy to do as well. So in order to do a straight AB line, we are going to go up to our type on the top of the screen where it says heading, we're going to press heading and here we're going to press straight. At this point I can mark my A point and now we're going to be able to drive ahead out in the field in the direction we want to go. Ideally we would get to the other end of the field. Once we're at the other end of the field I'm going to pretend I'm there right now and I'm going to mark my B point. It now asks if I want to change to this swath. I say yes. And now I can engage on that straight AB line that we just created going across the field. Straight ABs work very well if we want to mark from one end to the other 
while you're combining corn to help break a new land and then that way you can find your next land to break in and your rows will come out for you going through the field also. We hope this was a helpful video on creating a guidance line in your flagship series combine. Check out some of our other helpful videos on the Red Power Team website or you can go to our Red Power Team YouTube channel. Thank you.